Listen, have you ever been on a journey in life and the things of this world by the renewing of your mind? Yo, like seriously, why do, why, why do people start like when they're reading a Bible verse or when they um, like doing anything, they start off real low and real slow in the pulpit. Like I don't understand. Never mind. What I'm here to do today is explain to you what my favorite Bible story is. Okay, so my favorite Bible story is in Matthew, uh, I believe it's chapter 14, when it is that Jesus is walking on the water and he's coming to the disciples. And basically they are in the storm, even though he sent them, he knew they were going to be in a storm. He meets them in a storm. The only problem is, is Jesus is walking on water. Now, the problem with me is, is I'm a very like theatrical person. So I love like productions and movies and soundtracks and themes and all this other stuff. So in my mind, I can hear like the waves crashing and like them screaming on the boat and like the just and all this other crazy stuff, right? And then I'm trying to figure out how it was the disciples was even able to hear Jesus in the first place. Like how, Sway? Like how were you able to hear him? Like even with all of this noise and with all of this stuff going on and the ship rocking and being tossed to and fro and just going back and forth and you're not really sure what it is that you see on the water, but you have the courage, Peter, to ask, who is this? And if this is you, Jesus, I want to come out to where you are because clearly you got a different vantage point than I do to where you're walking on the thing that's terrifying me. So with that being said, Jesus calls him out of the boat and says, come. When he says, come, Jesus or Peter is now able to walk on the word, literally, in order for him to get to Jesus. Now, he gets distracted by the storm, which is what most people do, right? Most people get distracted by the storm. They get terrified. They get scared. They don't know what to do. They lose focus. They get distracted. They get irritated. They get annoyed. And the reality is, is he ends up falling short. Like many of us do. We all fall short of the glory of God. The reality is, though, is the fact that he stepped out on faith, on the word, allowed Jesus to save him in a moment that nobody else was out there with him but him. So I just want to encourage you today, like no matter what you're dealing with and no matter what you're going through, like there are so many examples in the Bible that you can pull from that enhance your courage, that talk about aspects of faith when you're the most vulnerable and that puts you in a position to remain successful and faithful in the kingdom of God. But for me, that's my favorite Bible story. Now for you, you might have a different one. Now you tell me, and you can leave a video comment down here on Facebook if you would like, as to what your favorite Bible story is. For me, that one is one of the, my favorites of all time, outside of the cross, because there's a lot of implications with that as well, but that's my theatrical mind again. So I hope you have a blessed one. This is Bishop Kodak in Synoptic Sessions. Please leave a video comment underneath here to basically show what your, or leave a video regarding what your favorite Bible scripture is, all right? Have a blessed one, peace.